Gotcha. Hello everyone, and welcome to another Monster in the World video. This is the Game Economist, and today we're going to be talking about the top five light bow guns. If you're curious about my history with the bow guns, the heavy bow guns are my most played weapon class in the game, and I've devoted a lot of time to the light bow guns as well. Really, they're very similar to each other because they both use a lot of the same mechanics, and they both share the same pool of ammo types. So if you understand one, you're not going to have a hard time understanding the other one. And if you want to see my top five tier list for the heavy bow guns, I have that video as well. I'll leave a link in the description and in the comment section. The other thing I'm going to mention is I'm going to be leaving links for all the builds for these bow guns because I don't want to rehash all the reviewing and all of the builds that I've already done for these light bow guns. I just want to get to my list and tell you guys my thoughts on what I think are the best five light bow guns in the game. Beginning the list in fifth place, I have the Karma Light Bow Gun. This is from the Odo Garen tree, and it comes with rapid fire normal ammo too. It's really an easy light bow gun to use, but it's not the strongest. The reason I chose it is because I knew it's an overall easy light bow gun for beginners. It comes with both paralysis ammo and sleep ammo, so it's great for teams, and the rapid fire normal ammo too is easy enough to use. It also has pierce ammo, but the real reason I chose it is because it has a very good accessibility. Some of the other light bow guns on this list are going to be harder to obtain. This one really is not. You should be able to get this one very quickly. And so it was hard for me to decide whether or not to put this on the list, but in the end I feel like accessibility is a big enough of an issue that the Karma Light Bow Gun does deserve a spot. So if you're starting the game out and you want to get into the light bow guns, go ahead and build Karma. Coming in fourth place, we have the Emperor's Shell Blaze, which is going to be your best option for fire ammo and for ice ammo. So one of the interesting about the light bow guns is that they do a pretty good job with the elemental ammo types. For, there's kind of two reasons for that. Their quicker movement speed means you're able to get better angles on the monster's body, and they also have rapid fire on the elemental types, which is pretty good. Even though there are some great heavy bow guns that can use elemental ammo as well, I just feel like in general it's more fun to use elemental ammo types on the light bow guns. So this one has rapid fire, fire ammo and rapid fire ice ammo. Now, the ice ammo is just going to tear up Black Diablos and Diablos and Kov Terroth. So right off the bat you have a very valuable monster Kov Terroth who's weak to ice ammo in stage 4 and you can use this weapon on her in stage 4 if you prefer to do that. The ice ammo is also useful against Lunastra and Teostra. The fire ammo might be used against Kirin and Valhazak, though in my opinion it's a little less effective against them. Who knows, we might have another monster in the future that is a lot more weak to the fire ammo. After the Empress Shell Blaze, in third place, we have the Devil Joe Light Bow Gun called Devil's Madness. This is one of my favorite light bow guns in the game. I've been using it for a long time. I think it originally was known for its spread ammo level 3 build, which was pretty decent, but after the Glutton came out with Kov Teroth, I feel like the Glutton just kind of overshadowed any other spread ammo in the game for both weapon classes, heavy bow guns and light bow guns. It's just because it's so overpowered. It's kind of like, if you're going to get good at spread ammo level 3, you might as well get good at the Glutton heavy bow gun. So with the Devil's Madness, you could build spread ammo level 3 if you really want to with the light bow gun. However, in my opinion, what it offers best is access to the sticky ammo, which you can build with artillery, and then at the same time the wyvern blast. So sticky ammo level 3, wyvern blast, and sleep ammo all together. One of my favorite setups on this bow gun, it makes it excellent for crowd control. You can put the monster to sleep and then drop all three of your wyvern blasts next to the monster, and then you can put down your mega barrel bombs and let the person on your team with the strongest weapon wake up the monster, and then you go ahead and use your sticky ammo level 3 to cause a KO on that monster, right? So you're really a terrific crowd control with the Devil's Madness, and even though it has a lot of negative affinity, that sticky ammo and the Wyvern Blast are totally going to ignore the negative affinity and deal some terrific light bow gun damage because this weapon has a very high raw attack value. In second place, I put the Terrath Blitz Shot. So this is one of those Rarity 8 RNG weapons that you can earn from Kul Terrath. However, it's pretty rare, and again, that's why we have the Karma Light Bow Gun on this list, because it's hard to get the Terrath Blitz Shot. And the Terrath Blitz Shot is really the best Rapid Fire Normal Ammo 2 Light Bow Gun on the game. Rapid Fire Normal Ammo 2 is common in the Light Bow Gun weapon class, like in the Heavy Bow Gun class, you know, it's just... You don't really use normal ammo too much in that weapon class. There's too many other ammo types to worry about and, and excel at. But in the in the light bow gun class, rapid fire normal ammo too is kind of a staple. And this one does it the best. It has a very good attack value and it's an elementalist light bow gun. So together you're going to be dealing massive amounts of damage with that normal ammo too. And you're going to be able to move quickly around the monster and shoot it in its weak spots. And the downside to using the Terra the Blitz shot is that you don't have any ailment ammo. However, you do get the highest damage wyvern blast in the game as well. So this 
is a very strong speedrunner's weapon and solo weapon when you know you're not really interested in causing any ailments on the monster. You're just worried about dealing pure damage. So again, a terrific solo speedrun weapon. However, the weapon in first place, I feel, really deserves its spot, not just because of damage, but because of utility. So why don't we jump over to first place and talk about the Emperor's Shell Sticks. Are any of you surprised that this is the first place light bowgun in the game? I think I would have been about a month ago, because when I started playing around with that light bowgun, I was like, it's okay, right? Like the damage output's okay, your fights are still long. One, one of the things that really had to happen for me to appreciate the light bowgun, there's, well, there's two things. First of all, I had to realize just how good it was against Kul'v Taroth, one of the most farmed monsters in the game, Kul'v Taroth, right? You've got the rapid fire thunder ammo too on the Emperor Shell Sticks, and it's got spare shot, which means that you're able to build whatever else you want onto the build. And that's the other thing that really struck me. Getting spare shot for free on your light bow gun means you get to build all these other really powerful pieces of armor, and it gives you a very efficient build that these other bow guns aren't really capable of, right? Like Devil's Madness can build slice ammo, and it can do pretty good. Like, as long as you're building against the negative affinity, you can get pretty strong slice ammo out of the Devil's Madness. But the thing is, you build up slice ammo so efficiently on the Emperor Shell Sticks that you're able to build something else as well, like Part Breaker. You can't do that with the Devil's Madness, it's too expensive. So with the Emperor Shell Sticks, you're able to build these other ammo types like thunder ammo, water ammo, which by the way is the best at water ammo as well, slice ammo, and even pierce ammo. I believe this is the best light bow gun for pierce ammo. You would think it would be the Kul'v Taroth Terrace Blitz Pierce, but the fact that you're getting spare shot for free on this gun just allows you to build more damage than you would have built on the Terrace Blitz Pierce. So yeah, this bowgun's access to the spare shot skill and the fact that it doesn't have terrible attributes and it does come with an ailment, it comes with the sleep ammo, right, level one and level two, the fact that it's getting all this terrific ammo types and the spare shot skill really is what brings it up to rank one on my list. So it's not only about being able to build efficient damage on your setup, it's about being able to bring other skills like part breaker, maybe an unusual amount of defense, maybe something useful like support for your team, right? Okay, well, those are my choices for the top five light bow guns in the game. Let me know if you agree or disagree. What would you have put in fifth place? I really, you know, I was debating some of the other light bow guns that could have gone there. I really just ended up choosing Karma because of its accessibility. Do you think a different light bow gun should have gone in that place? Let me know. All right, I want to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.